This is a video of Configurable Management's Customer Master Accelerator to be used in EC6 versions. Uh, what is CMA? Um, it's a remote enabled function module um, for creating and changing customer master records and it solves a lot of limitations that um, people have with customer master. Um, what does CMA give you? Um, provides an API um, into customer master, full access to um, central ad address management, multi-language support for text, um, you can do classification, uh, which can be very challenging, uh, update custom fields, and it honors all your user exits and baddies. Um, you've also got some enhancement spot options. Uh, in this demo, you're going to see uh, just some general data. We're not going to do company code or sales data, internal number assignment, central address management. We'll do multiple phone numbers and emails, which can be challenging um, in BDC sessions. Um, and we'll do some text and some classification, both challenging areas um, sometimes when you're trying to write custom code. Okay, so first screen here is just going to show you um, uh, putting in the transaction code in the account group. So XD01, um, and then we've got an account group there. Uh, and and we, we always use XD01 even if we're just doing ge general data. Um, here's the um, central address management. So you'll see lots of data in here. We've got a care of field, um, street, um, sort one, sort two. And, and you see you got lots of tables you can fill out. So um, very flexible. Uh, this is to show contact persons, another area that uh, um, about developers sometimes will have challenges with uh, um, if, the, if they're trying to do a, a BDC recording. Here is uh, classification, so we're going to add some values to some known characteristics. Let's see, now we're looking at the text, and, and the one thing to point out here is we're adding text in, ver in various languages. And I've also got uh, one text um, ID that we're adding three lines of text, uh, not just a single line. And the next section just showing that we can add multiple telephone numbers. Um, pretty simple, but uh, the challenging part is um, People have when they do BDCs is if the um, uh, the pop-up only will show you I forget four or five fields uh, here you see six email addresses same issue on on the email addresses they have challenge uh, challenges getting that screen to scroll so uh, you can add hundred email addresses if you wanted to through this interface and they'll, they'll all get added properly uh, you can even add uh, emails for contacts uh, you can add um, addresses for contract tax as well, um, but in this demo we're just, just adding some emails. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and um, execute this, and it's going to um, create a customer for us. There you go, we get a new customer number assigned. And if, if no customer had been assigned, we would get a little uh, a flag back in that e-air um, parameter. Uh, and then we'd have messages in the return table telling us why um, the customer didn't create. Okay, so we're just going to go display. Um, again, we're going through XD03. You could have gone through VD03. Uh, this is just showing that um, uh, the information that we passed. And yeah, this display mode is not showing all, all the fields. Um, um, so some of those fields must be, be hidden in the configuration. Uh, here's the three phone numbers we had passed. And this is showing the, uh, yes, yeah, you notice the screen only shows four email addresses. But there's the fifth and the sixth that we passed. So it did pass all six email addresses. All right, now let's go look at the contact persons. And make sure two of them came over, and they did. So we had two contacts that we had sent. And then we'd also sent multiple email addresses for those contacts. So let's make sure that worked fine. And there you are. So there's uh, two emails right there for, for that contact. So that looks good. So the next um, section we're going to uh, take a look at here is the text. 
and uh, here's the text lines there's there's the one that's got the three lines to it and you see the different languages on some of those all right and then let's take a look at the classification make sure that worked well and indeed it did and you see one of them had multiple values as well the third characteristic down had uh, multiple values um, so that shows shows that we can pass both single and multiple values and that's it. Thank you for watching the demo. We uh, appreciate your time.